What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Gaming with the Bruce cast. Hello, hello. Episode number 76. Wow. 76. <laughs> wow. Wow. So wow. many. So my many name is Harrison. Episodes. I am joined by my brother Nick, as always. Uh, Nick, before we jump into it, how was uh, how was your week? It's been kind of a crazy week. A yeah. lot of travel. Um, so my my fiance Alicia graduated with her master's in data science from from yeah small claps from from <laughs> UVA this weekend. So we we drove up to to UVA on Friday, and I, I think due to COVID, she could only take two people like mm-hmm. actually into the stadium. So she took her parents and me and her cousin just kind of bounced around and, and played some disc golf and chilled out. And then they came back and we, we hung out and like went out to dinner and stuff. And then the next day and you were there, but we came, came to our parents' house for, for Putnam Palooza, which is the yeah. first annual uh, big family and friends extravaganza that they had. And they had, they had two performers come out and a food truck and it was, it was pretty fun. It was, it was a great time. And yeah, you know, we did yeah, that. I thought, uh, yeah, I thought that both, both performers were, were pretty good. Yeah. Um, one was like just kind of acoustic set. And the other one had like electric guitars and stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. So it, it was, it was like appropriately done, I guess, like as far as like kind of the more low key performance during the daytime and then at nighttime um, had the, the, the louder stuff going on. But yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun seeing, seeing old people that I haven't seen in a long time and just, yeah. Just chilling out, drinking some beer, and uh, snuck a couple of shots. And uh, you know, the the brisket, the brisket truck was was freaking awesome. Yeah, the food really truck good. was was a brisket truck. So yeah. it had, you know, they had like brisket sandwiches, brisket fries, brisket nachos. Yeah, pretty much everything brisket related you can yeah. imagine. Yeah, it was it was super good, and you know, it was very very chill. I wish we got to stay longer, but uh, when you got when you got kids, you can't uh, can't stay too long. But uh, yeah, it, it was a great time um how how else was your uh was your week it's pretty good it's been it's been kind of slow and <laughs> i've said this for like four weeks in a row but but <laughs> we also have this thursday and friday off so it's that's gonna oh, be nice, nice. So like a three-day week and then next week i'm taking thursday and friday off to go on the the camper van trip so have a are have you, a couple are of you off weeks. on monday yeah so we get thursday friday and monday off oh for, wow for memorial day nice yeah i figured you were yeah. slow when it was like 12 o'clock and you were logging on to <laughs> xbox I, I, I logged on to download knockout city which, oh okay which i'll talk about <laughs> in a little bit here but yeah, yeah. That, that was that was pretty funny it was do like get, yeah do you get notified when i get when i log on well i think because we're like best friends on um like xbox like i'll get because i have the app I'll, I'll get a notification whenever you come on <laughs> but it just started recently so i don't know what change i don't know hmm. but that's weird because uh i just started laughing my friend said the same thing he said man i've, I've been seeing you kind of log on a little early it's like <laughs> how do you see that <laughs> but i think he he watches youtube tv a lot on his xbox so he might see the notification oh okay gotcha, gotcha. There. yeah yeah i opened it up a little early today i was doing some trainings <laughs> it's just like i'm gonna just download knockout city and i ended up playing a few rounds later in the afternoon but but cool yeah how was how's your week uh it was good uh, another solid uh work week i guess um i tried taking i tried requesting friday off because like this weekend Brittany and i for her birthday um mm-hmm. my parents got her uh and i a, a trip up to uh to below and rock in north carolina to stay nice. um in the downtown area so we're super excited about that um and then i'm off on monday too so it's always it's always nice like when you come home from vacation to have that extra day yeah off just to kind of like relax and kind of re- recuperate whatever um but yeah try to get it off got denied though so i was it's a little peeved i'm not gonna lie but whatever and i and i use and i use my my like they well it used to be called like your they used to give you your birthday off but now they call it like a mental health day or something or a wellness day so i'm like how do you deny a mental a mental health day, day. but it was it's the friday right before memorial day so I guess a lot of people were taking it off. Yeah, I guess. They already requested. I, yeah, I tried looking, but like my my outlook is, I don't know. Ever since I switched over to like Windows 10, because we were like on Windows 7 before we moved to home. Mm-hmm. And now I can't like see 
what days are off but yeah a little a little peeved mm-hmm. for that but it is what it is yeah it sucks um just because like it's a two-hour trip from our house and you know i wanted to have you know majority of friday to to do stuff i mean we're still going to get there around seven ish but um mm-hmm. maybe maybe a little bit more before that um do you have but, friday and saturday night there yeah friday friday saturday okay, night come good. on, come on Sunday. yeah so but, like we got all day saturday to do to do stuff but nice. I, I wanted like a, a little bit of extra time but well mm-hmm. we're, gonna, we're gonna get there and grab some food and probably find like a little pub or a bar or something and and vibe you know just vibe so yeah super excited about that um but yeah other than that i mean just other than like the the putnam palooza it was a it was a great day i spent a lot of time on sunday playing some games so i'm excited yeah, same here yeah um before we jump to 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 uh the games i did check out the army of the dead movie um uh, on netflix is this the Zack snyder like zombie movie that came is out that on netflix it's on netflix yeah oh, i thought that was in theaters oh man I'm, i, I want to watch that yeah it's pretty bad but it's okay okay should i watch it like is it worth watching or is it, i like, think so good? because it's got um oh shoot what's his name it's got the guy that plays uh drax and um uh, yeah uh, uh he's the wrestler guy batista? Gosh, I, yeah batista so like i like him like he's he's and he's and he's good in the movie and like so the movie is like two and a half hours long so it's super long and like for people that don't know like kind of the premise it's a it's a zombie heist movie so like las vegas has been completely overrun by zombies um they, they've completely like cut it off from the outside world um they've got they've got it like barricaded and stuff but the premise of the movie is a um a casino owner wants wants batista and his and a, a squad of people that he has to go in and get this money out of his vault and bring it back mm. and then there's other stuff in the movie that happens too um but i'm not going to spoil for anybody that wants to watch it but it's it's a good like flick i guess a good like popcorn kind of movie yeah it's a little bit too long and but, i mean with there's a lot of likable characters too um which is good but stuff happens and i'm just like whatever just but it's dumb dumb choices made by yeah the... dumb dumb zombie movie choices where yeah yeah but it, I, I think it's i think it's worth watching especially it's on netflix it's free um yeah. and yeah. it's it's not i mean it's it's pretty gory but not over the top or anything like that not uh, well I, I guess i'm more You're kind more of immune to it yeah i'm more immune to it but I mean, there's people getting bitten and stuff. It's a zombie movie, so yeah. go, go into that expecting, you know, that. But it's it's pretty good. It's uh, it's Zack Snyder, so I, I don't think he's a very good director, uh, in, my, in my personal opinion. Uh, I like 300, and that's kind of about it. Everything else the, has been kind of a flop. Was there a lot of slow-mo in this movie? Yeah, there was. There was a lot of slow-mo. Really? In a uh, zombie movie? I mean, not over the top, like, from, like, the clips that I've seen from justice league it's nothing compared to that they don't they don't have uh, like a theme song every time the female actor walks into the room so that's kind of nice but uh I, I would say it's worth watching it's it's a good it's a good two and a half hours to kill um it's you don't have to think a lot during the during the movie so i, I think it's worth watching. it's just go into it with very 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 low expectations like i did and so uh nice. you'll come out you know pleasant pleasantly I don't know, not surprised, but like just you know, just not not like your time is you completely wasted. Yeah. Yeah. Does does the I guess is the apocalypse only taking place in Las Vegas? Is that the only place that the zombies are? So I guess this is gonna I guess it, well, I guess territory. this movie was has been in the works for, since like 2007. And it went through like development hell and it was eventually sold off. And I think a Netflix acquired the rights like within mm-hmm. 2019, maybe. Um, and that's when it was like filmed and, and whatever um but uh yeah as far as i know or as far as what's in the movie yeah it just takes place in las vegas um which is which is cool uh nice good, a good setting for, for all that stuff mm-hmm. um but yeah I, I think it's worth a watch for free especially if you've got netflix but uh let's let's dive into uh to what we've been playing all right so should we <laughs> i guess let's knock the obvious one out of the way resident evil village or yeah, so I think I think I've been playing more than you have. Yeah, yeah, you have for sure. Okay, yeah, I think I've beaten it about five times now. Um, I just I I went I used the guide and went through and got all like the the goat um 
statues and, and got all mm-hmm. the the weapon upgrades and the the outhouses and stuff went through that uh, completed on village of shadow village of shadow difficulty um which with the infinite magnum wasn't too difficult um the, the, yeah. really the only p- hard part about that game was probably the very beginning um and i didn't have like the, the infinite magnum at the time um i just had like the unlimited um uh dragoon gun whatever chris's gun okay but uh still pretty good yeah it is yeah it is still good it doesn't it it, it, you got it runs out of ammo so quickly though um Mm -hmm. so by the time like you're getting uh trying to reload and stuff like you get hit pretty hard um i thought i would have more trouble towards the end i'm not going to spoil it but the part at the end where you have to um it's like right before like the second to last boss nick i don't i don't want to spoil anything for people but like when you're using like the the radar gun to shoot yeah you have to like survive the wave okay of yeah that wasn't yeah. too bad no it actually it actually wasn't um it, it was pretty it was pretty easy i started off like in the very back of the area mm-hmm. um and just kind of i had like just the infinite grenade off. launcher too so i was kind of blowing okay. people and not necessarily killing them in one hit but it would, it would stun them um then i actually used the flash grenades for kind of the first time uh, just to stun them and I then run around and yeah that, that helps out a lot in that in that particular section uh, but the rest okay. of the game is pretty pretty easy stuff um yeah yeah and yeah, bear in mind pretty- this is with you know uh, a new game plus times four going into village of shadows so it would probably be a lot well it would definitely be a lot harder oh yeah I yeah I, I wouldn't even want to try it <laughs> on without without the new game plus no um but yeah man resident evil it's 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 amazing I, i've loved every yeah every moment with that game uh it's it's great i I really do hope they put some dlc out um Mm -hmm. at some point and it's i I feel like they're going to with the way it with the way it kind of kind of leaves like two cliffhangers almost at the very end of that game um i plan on i plan on 100 it as far as like the achievements go Uh, i've got some mercenary stuff left to do uh turned out i like mercenaries a lot more than i thought i would uh it's just it's just fun doing like really quick runs and like the way they like mix up like who you fight like you'll like in the like the castle area um mm-hmm. they kind of depending on which area of it you're in they'll, they'll block it off so you can't go upstairs um and sometimes you can't go outside but also um the angie was in the castle and you have to like find her and like do that whole boss oh, fight so cool. it's pretty interesting i, I don't know oh, what yeah, the I other two areas look like What's uh yeah that that was pretty cool. It was just kind of like oh it's a, it's like a mix up of stuff. So, so you uh, do that, fight bosses? Yeah, you do. Fight, yeah, that's the only boss that I've fought. In. Um, okay, because I've all but I've also like they they've put like the the big um big guy the, big guys from yeah. from the factory in there. Oh, with the middle yeah. they have to like blow off their armor. Yeah, so they got that in there. Um, and then like your your basic lichen enemies and like your zombies and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. I, I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. And I, I didn't really mess with mercenaries in Resident Evil 4 too much back in the day. Yeah, I didn't either. Um, so maybe that's pretty similar to what that is. But yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I think, I think aside from having more of a character selec- selection in 4, it's probably pretty similar. And it, I guess there wouldn't be a point in, in had playing as different characters in this game because it's first person. But, yeah exactly I, I don't think i don't i think it's just you just play as ethan yeah but it's cool it's like it's got some strategy to it you've got a kind of every mm-hmm. um after every level and before you start the your run um you start off in like the the castle area where the duke is and you you start with and depending on the higher tier you get like the more bonus money you start at the very beginning um so i'm up to like thirty thousand, so i can get like a shotgun and then um some other stuff and like the am- ammo is like oh. it's it's so easy to pick it up through like that throughout like the the map it's just, it's just really all about basically using the shotgun and just trying to get to enemy to enemy as quick as possible and if you've got like a multiple amount of en- enemies in your vicinity and you know you have to run to another area like you might have to kind of coerce them into to like a to get them like closer together um mm-hmm. But there's there's like a, there's like I think it's fifteen or twenty seconds between like you have until you're like your um your bonus um uh, goes away, so it's it's a lot of fun. It's it's a it's a it's a good amount of strategy okay. to it, and the the runs are super quick. I mean, talking maybe ten minutes per run, 
Mm -hmm. um that's and it's uh, i think there's four levels and each level has four areas within it so like right now i'm on i did the village and i've done the castle and i think i've got the factory next i think okay. but it's I've really cool. done the village yeah yeah it's really yeah. it's really cool it's a, it's a lot of fun so aside from what you just said uh, any other recommendations for getting s rank i got a rank going playing just a couple of times but Basically, what I did is, especially the village, I, I got the shotgun immediately. Um, I upgraded as far as I could. I sold the pistol. I sold all the pistol ammo because it's kind of based on how much money you have at the end, too. Um, but mainly, it's oh, just about okay. chaining, chaining the kills. Like, you, you have to chain the kills, and then you also got to defeat every enemy within the level as well. Um, mm -hmm. And some, some levels have 55 enemies in it or something um, that, I've, that I've seen in the castle. But, I mean, they're all grouped up pretty well together so it doesn't it really yeah. doesn't take that long but yeah it's it's super good I, I like it a lot nice but yeah i mean other than that um yeah just just a great game it's just so much fun blowing through that story i wish it's i could crazy. go back three weeks and play it again for the first time i know right it's one of those games <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly it's one of those games where it's like if they i don't know if they added like a new gun or something to it like i would i would like to go through it again with that gun but there's a lot of options you get. Um, I did have a problem. Like I was able to, I unlocked like the rocket pistol. Uh, that was like the last thing I got, um, which, is, which is cool. But uh, there's yeah. no, like no more space in my inventory now. And I don't have an option to purchase anymore. So I'm going to eventually, if I want to get another weapon, I'm going to have to sell something, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, I kind of wish there was like a, a chest of, of some sort that you could put your items in. Because like I... I, I've kind of had to sell weapons as well. Yeah. And it kind of, yeah, that kind of sucks. Like even like on a new game plus, I wish there was like a chest because that's yeah. when you really need it. You don't really need it um, on the first playthrough, but no, not at all. Yeah. yeah I weird. spent like most of the, most of my village run, um, like having to just not pick up anything. Cause I just having a room. I mean, I didn't need it cause I've got, and, and luckily like they separate like your crafting material from, like your items which is like if, if that wasn't the case it would have been like an awful experience but i'm glad they i'm glad they did it that way but yeah, oh, yeah. i wish like you could just drop a weapon off at the duke or something like just store it like within you know i don't know that, that would be cool but it's all it's all right it's, it's not a big it's not a big gripe yeah not a not a big deal at the at the end of the day yeah because i guess eventually like once you get like your preferred shotgun or pistol or whatever you don't really need the other one but like yeah. i also <laughs> don't want to get rid of it too just because like you like put so much there. money into it yeah exactly <laughs> yeah i feel you on that one but i did i did get the achievement for like having seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven. Oh my god I, yeah i still don't have that one so uh, tip pro tip try to try your best to completely zero out your your lay or lee or whatever it's called and then purchase like a hundred rounds or craft a hundred rounds of of rifle ammo not sniper rifle ammo rifle ammo rifle ammo and then sell it because those are worth seven lay a piece. So eventually you'll get to, if you sell a hundred, you'll get 777, not a hundred, but like something right above that number. It'll take you. It's pretty easy. I had, to, I had to Google money. it. Yeah. Blow your money, invest it into your guns or whatever, and then just yeah. craft, craft the sniper ammo. Okay. I can, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty easy once I figured that out. Cause I was like, man, cause like I got to, without looking it up, I got to mm -hmm. 7,000. 776 oh. and i was like there's no way i can sell something for out like for one lay yeah. so I, I had to uh, look it up and how, um, how many wait so you have to craft a hundred well you have to right? like you every how many how many how many uh, ammo does each craft get you like 20 maybe or something oh, like so that you need to craft five yeah it's not it's not a huge it, it might be like 15 or 20 it's it's not that hard okay yeah yeah especially I if you go through like on that. the harder difficulty and yeah you just get a bunch of stuff that you just don't need you'll you'll eventually have a ton of leftover stuff so okay it, it's pretty easy it's pretty easy nice. um last thoughts on resident evil nick before we uh jump into what else we've been playing probably one of my favorite games i've played this year if yeah. not the favorite game of this yeah year. yeah well maybe maybe like the week before e3 we'll we do, do like a like, a like a mid game of the year kind of thing yeah that'd be fun um let's let's save mass effect for last because we both played that 
and let's, okay. you go ahead and talk about the rest of your stuff. Yeah, I got some. I got some phones on the list. Uh, oh. First one being, I think it's called Golf with Your Friends. I think I think that's what it's called. Uh, it's on Game Pass. Okay. So cool. It's free for for Game Pass owners. It's probably like twenty bucks otherwise. Um, but it's exactly what it sounds like. It's it's just mini golf, <laughs> but you can either play online or offline. And there are like 15 different courses you can play on and, and they're, they get pretty ridiculous. Like it's not just like simple, simple mini golf. Like you're having to jump over these gaps and do all this crazy stuff. And then there are modifiers you can put in the game and you could either like make your ball bouncier or make it able to, to bounce in water. So there's just a lot of like funny modifiers you can put on, put on the, the actual game itself. Yeah. So it's pretty fun. The only the only gripe I have with it is you can't play with two controllers. If you're playing uh split screen or, or co-op or whatever or against each other. So like I was playing with Alicia and I just had to hand off the controller to her every time she went. Or we had to hand off the controller to each other. So it's kind of weird. I don't know why they don't let you just use two controllers. Yeah, that is a little weird. Yeah. But it's a fun game. It's I don't know. I've been kind of itching for like a mini golf game and there's this, there's this game on, on Oculus VR. I think it's called walk about mini golf. Are you adding another game? Yeah. Oh, walking. Oh, nice. Yeah. Speaking of VR, but um, <laughs> that immediately triggered it. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's this game that I might get on VR called walk about mini golf. I'm mm-hmm. assuming it's just like VR mini golf. So I might I might pick it up and, and and check it out. I'm on a mini golf kick right now. I don't I don't know why. <laughs> you just get ready for Mario Golf, man. That's all you're doing. Yeah, actually, actually, I think that's what it is. I think I saw that trailer and got super hyped. And I was like, okay, how can I play golf and and not have to play PGA tour? Because like I don't have a t- I don't have a ton I'm of thinking fun. about like I don't know if I have it anymore, but I really want to go find like Wii Sports. Yeah. play it yeah i do too i wish they would bring to the switch just in some capacity yeah that'd be that'd be awesome man that'd be so much fun we'd definitely play cool. that yeah maybe maybe we'll bring like maybe i'll bring my wii u for them for the beach and we'll, we'll like i'll wii get sports. wii sports that everybody can play yeah. yeah yeah you should do that yeah that'd be fun did you did you get like the wii like the new wii sports on the wii u um i think it may be already installed I don't know. No, I never actually played it. I don't think. I know it's there. I know that. I know I have the icon on there. But you had to buy it. Oh, then no. <laughs> but you have like your you have like old Wii Sports or Wii Sports Resort. I don't know. I have to look. I don't think I, think I have I either have one. Wii Sports Resort. Yeah, maybe. We'll, we'll need that to play. I think maybe it's is it in mom's. I think it might be in like your your room at the house, other house, the guest room. Yeah, it closet. might be in a game case. I'll check. I'll check mine though. Okay. If not, if not, I can. I'm sure we can find it cheap. Yeah. But so you okay? So you've been playing some Walking Dead? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've only, I only played about 20 minutes of it. Um, okay. Because I I busted out the 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 Oculus Quest two whatever, and it was it was like already about get ready to die. So I was like, I'll just check it out real quick. Mm-hmm. It's it's disorienting. It's 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 like it's like I got in. I was standing up for a while, and then I ended up sitting down. But it's it's weird like and just i'm not like standing up yeah like, i'm not nice. like super like into vr games like that but uh, i remember i remember when we got when i when i checked out that one game that you had on the, uh-huh. on the playstation vr um i got a little bit weird with like the like the roller coaster game um, oh until dawn yeah until dawn yeah um i got a little not queasy just like i felt really disoriented i started mm-hmm. feeling that way with um with the walking dead but it's it's cool like getting up yeah. close on zombies faces and stuff like it's pretty intense did and, like, you uh, to... grab their head and i did yeah it's yeah cool. um yeah it's i mean it's it's pretty realistic i guess if, but you just gotta get your vr legs you yeah i think so did yeah, you it's, have it's... on um i guess full motion or did you have it go like have yourself turn in increments no no i had the full like um joystick going um mm. i guess that's just kind of standard i didn't really change any sort of um 
Well, do, like when you like turn things. left or right with the with the joystick, does it do it smoothly or does it click? No, it's kind of like maybe I should uh, uh, maybe I should change yeah, maybe that. you should do it smooth. Okay. Actually, I mean, smooth is recommended for people who play VR a lot and like that okay. kind of like click there. I don't know what it's called. Incremental. Yeah. Burning. That's recommended for like newer VR players because it's not as jarring, I guess. Okay. But yeah, like give, maybe give I should smooth the shot and see maybe I should. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See if that's better. Yeah. But yeah I'll, it does, it does it get disorienting when you're like turning and walking, but your body's not like your physical body isn't turning yeah. at the same time. It's kind yeah. Of it's a little, it was a little trippy at first. So, but it was just yeah. cool. I, I like the intro. Um, I, yeah. like, I like the setting and stuff. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. So I'll play some more of it. Yeah. Yeah. I get really hot when I'm playing it. I yeah. can't play it for like more than an hour. I just, I just get so, so hot. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I could play it any more than like 45 minutes to an hour at a time. Mm-hmm. But uh, have you, have you gotten much further in, in the walking dead since last time you played a little bit, but like, I feel like I've just hit a wall where yeah. I'll either have to go back and, and kind of like scavenge for supplies or, or start over, I guess, like, because uh, I'm up against this faction yeah. of, of humans, and I don't know if I had the option of not fighting them. I, I probably had the option of not fighting them, but there are just so many of them, and they kill you so quickly, and okay. I just don't know what to do. So it's a little frustrating when, like, like I said, I can only play for, like, an hour at a time, and I play for an hour, and I don't make any progress. Yeah. I just keep dying and restarting the day. Um, yeah it's fun yeah, though like it's fun just to walk around and you know shoot arrows at zombies or, or something like that yeah it's cool like i, I got a yeah. notification on my phone that it was on sale so i picked it up it was like 33 bucks or something 34 oh, bucks nice, so nice. not a big sale but i was like yeah you know i, I feel like this probably could be like the lowest it's ever going to be for a while so i'm like I'm yeah. gonna check it out yeah but uh, yeah it's it's cool I, I like it it's um it's very cool it's like yeah just being able to like flip your guns up and like and you got like constantly that's, hold that's on to your knife and stuff. So it's, it's, it's it like, takes, it's like, takes a while. It's like the most realistic feeling VR yeah. game I've played in terms of like actually having to hold your stuff and, and like reaching down on your, on your side and grabbing your knife and pistol. Yeah. And like, it, like, you said, like the flipping thing is so cool. Yeah. I've dropped, I, I dropped my weapon a couple of times fighting a zombie, but you could like just grab your head or something. And it's, so it's yeah. cool. I think that's what Resident Evil 4 is going to be like, where you kind of have that realistic mobility yeah i'm excited to play that in, that's like, in gonna vr be, that's gonna be like a 15 hour game in vr oh, god yeah that's gonna be fun yeah i'm though. excited for that mm-hmm. um tell me about knockout city because this this game we kind of made fun of fun of in like the the two like it was a nintendo's okay. direct yeah. it was also in playstations right um stay to play so and it got a lot of airtime on nintendo's direct so how is it Okay, for starters, I'm starting to think that like, so the, these trailers and in, in Nintendo Directs that go on a little bit longer than you want them to, I'm starting to think that the developers just pay Nintendo to have this airtime. I'm assuming that's how it works, right? Well, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's like just they, a big ad. Yeah, pretty much. I that that would be kind of interesting because like, I'm yeah, I'm assuming that they. I don't know because like I feel like, like also Nintendo, especially right now that mm. they just need filler so that maybe they're reaching out to i don't know i don't know how that works like that would be kind of crappy to have to pay to be on but also you're getting airtime so maybe it helps or maybe with sales. you can be on but you have to pay to have a longer spot because that was like five minutes of yeah, a, it was a long time for for a direct <laughs> so it immediately put both of us off on the game yeah um but it's on game pass so it's it's free <laughs> to download i don't know how much it is outside of that i know it's on it's Switch 20 bucks i think okay 20 bucks yeah not bad um i played like five rounds and just just the premise of the game is it's 3v3 you're playing dodgeball and you pick up balls around the map you can throw them at each other and you can catch the ball when it's coming at you and if you don't it'll knock one of your health bars off and you have two two health before you die and you just have to respawn and it's the first to 10, it's a five minute game. Um, it's really fun. I really, I really enjoy it. Like, it's just, it kind of gives me a similar feeling of Splatoon when it first came out, where it's just okay. like this kind of new, 
just this new concept. And it's really simple. Like it's just dodgeball, but I feel like there's definitely a lot more mechanics to it than I'm, than I'm realizing. Okay. I just initially saw like you can roll yourself up into a ball and someone else can throw you and that'll take out both of their health. Oh, wow. It hits them. So there's a lot of strategy around it. You can like curve balls around corners and then like it auto aims when you hold down the trigger. So you don't really have to aim too much, but you can like charge a ball and then throw it faster. And, you know, if you, if the, the opponent doesn't react and try to catch the ball in, the, in time, then it'll hit them. And okay. That's pretty It's cool. just a lot of fun when, when like you gang up on somebody and you both just like double nail them and, and kill them immediately. So it's, okay. it's yeah, I, I had some connection issues at first. I was lagging a bit, but I think that's, I think that's on me. I think that's just my connection here. Okay. But it's, it's pretty fun. Might be, I mean, they might have gotten hit pretty hard on their servers with it being on Game Pass. Yeah, maybe. Which I mean, for for something like this, where which grand twenty bucks is not a huge like, it's not a lot of ask for. Sink. Yeah, but th- I think this is where Game Pass Game Pass is really going to thrive for just multiplayer games in general. Um, that maybe don't you know that are brand new like IPs or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like I, I feel like this is just the spot. I mean like. Game Pass is just becoming like the Netflix for gaming. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's should, just, uh... <laughs> I mean, there's I've got like four or five games on my on my Game Pass right now that I want to check out. Like, I want to play Final Fantasy X again. Um, I want to play The Wild at Heart, so I want to check that out. Uh, I want to play that SnowRunner game because I've been curious about it. It's like the, yeah, the realistic too. like drive. Like that looks like stupid fun. Yeah, or just like a time waster, Excellent. I guess. Um, uh, funny enough. Um, man eaters coming to game pass at some point oh like yeah June, RIP. which i mean i got for 20 bucks so it's whatever yeah. um yeah, yeah uh, just uh, it's crazy crazy drinking drinking game take a shot every time we mention game pass <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> you might die at the end of the podcast you although might. we haven't we haven't touched it too much yet Not but yet. i'm sure i'm sure we'll get onto it um but yeah, yeah i think, I think i'll check this fun. out yeah I want Let to me know if out. you get on. I'll, I'll I'll play with you. I like how it's only three v three because you can kind of get a squad easier than than you would with like a five v five game. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all for like a new style of of game that you don't quite get used to. Because I mean, like like you mentioned, Splatoon was like when I first like you just have a smile on your face the entire time. Mm-hmm. Same with like Rocket League. Like Rocket yeah, League is yeah. always always fun no matter what. It kind of um, reminds me of that. Where like where you're kind of always having a good time. Yeah, and then I I thought maybe Ninjala would be something like that for me, but I just didn't click with that combat. I didn't think it was super fun. I don't I don't know if you ever checked that out. Mm-hmm. I never yeah. gave it a shot. I should have. I should have tried it. I mean, it's still it's okay. It's still maybe strong. if I got in more more into it, maybe I would like mm-hmm. it. But I just that initial gameplay just didn't hook me, and I think that's probably the problem for, for yeah. me at least. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't know of any other multiplayer games that have really like maybe like we sports or something like that was that's always fun i don't know what, what other games can you think of that just like and play animated. one round and it's it and you're hooked oh you're you're hooked in um or it's like special i guess i don't know apex was kind of like that for me yeah well yeah yeah I, I i've kind of felt more of that towards um PUBG, like i thought because that was like okay. my first introduction into um battle royale and i just i love playing that just dude i hated PUBG on on the base xbox it ran like it did it, it ran like doo-doo. Doo-doo. yeah it was bad i'm sure it's better check, now I, yeah i haven't checked it out since they well since the series x came out mm-hmm. um but yeah sure just, it's great the fact that like it just felt like a horror game on top of just being like a shooter because yeah. you're just constantly scared for your life. Yeah. That, that was a, a very interesting um, concept to me. And uh, yeah, Apex was good. I didn't, I didn't get back into it, I guess, and try it out, but we'll see. I don't know. Yeah. That was that Apex was like the first really good. Uh, what is it called? Battle Royale. It's Battle Royale. Just right out the gate. It was yeah. Really it was good. solid. I mean, it, it, yeah. I mean, off the backbone of, you know, respawn creators of uh original creators of call of duty and titanfall one and two which titanfall two is god that game is amazing i, I really need to go back and play the campaign mm-hmm. i keep saying Same that here. but i need i need to um 
yeah yeah i need to check it out called I'll, I'll i'll try it out well let's uh, let's jump into the big release we, we kind of you and i were both kind of hesitant on buying well not hesitant but i mean we, we were just still gonna do it until... yeah we were still trying to work through resident oh, evil yeah. and uh at the party i was just like yeah i think i'm gonna get this game <laughs> so i was like yeah right. you, you know the drill <laughs> so as someone you've only played mass effect 3 correct i played 3 and i've played a, a fair bit of 2 okay gotcha not so, a ton so but... you never but you never touched one that's right okay I've never yet one so i want to hear your thoughts we talked a little bit before the podcast but i want to hear your thoughts because mass effect is it's i think it came out in 2007 so it's a, it's an a old long time ago. yeah it's an old game and it definitely it definitely it feels like an old game. Um, I think they've slightly updated the the shooting and stuff compared to the original because it was a lot worse than what it is right now. Um, <laughs> so they've made some improvements to that. But I was okay to look past all that stuff back in the day because um, uh-huh. it, it felt dated back then. Um, but the story, the story, Amazing. the world. Yeah. The, the space operaness to it, the sci-fi, like everything about this is absolutely amazing. And no other game has really captured that just world since then. Mm-hmm. For me, at least. There, there may be some other stuff, but like I'm talking about like a space kind of aspect. Um, nothing else has really, to me, even, came even close. Um, it's, it's incredible. I love it. <laughs> yeah i mean just just yeah just the trilogy doing what it did and you're right like nothing has ever done i mean aside from some small indie games i know uh, you you've, have you heard of banner saga yeah yeah that kind of did that where you're where your uh, your story carries over to the next game and you can lose people along the way and that'll carry over but Ma- like, yeah i guess mass effect was one of the first ones to do it and it kind of nailed the landing in that aspect yeah i mean it felt like really good just to start out with your original shepherd mm-hmm. and bring that same character and all your choices and stuff like that all the way until three i mean that's 100 plus hours of, of game and yeah enriching story and characters that you that you love and characters that you hate and it's just yeah, there's not there hasn't been anything quite like that since. But I'm glad it's back and and I'm glad um that newer players can experience. Hopefully they can get through one cuz it is it is a little tough um gameplay wise, but I I think I feel like the just the atmosphere and the story is is well worth it to kind of push through some of that um, you know, that dated gameplay. I know you said you were struggling a little bit. Yeah, so um, I I'm I'm six you're, hours you're, in. Yeah, you're farther than I am. I think I'm about an hour and a half in. I'm still in the Citadel. Okay. Yeah. So I, yeah, I did the Citadel, and that that was that was a cool area. Like there wasn't, it, it was a slow start. I mean, yeah, it is. Yeah. To be fair, it's a slow start, but it's it's giving you a lot of a lot of engaging story content, a lot of background, and you know all the different races that are in this game. Like, yeah, it, it's crazy. It's like they set up like a Star Wars esque universe just yeah. in one game, and then they and then they brought that forward, but I'm I'm loving the story, loving the the character choice and the dialogue options. I hate Shepard's eyes. <laughs> they, so are you playing? Like, I I played the entire original trilogy with the male Shepard, and now I'm playing through as the femme Shep, or whatever, mm-hmm. just to get that different, um, I guess aspect or whatever. But yeah, the eyes, <laughs> the eyes, are, the eyes are weird. They're like it's like they're, they're like, always like yeah, they're staring into your soul. Yes, yeah, yeah, so it, it gets better after after one. It I really, figured. it really does. And then one thing, and I guess I just didn't expect this, but the fr- at least like this, the two, uh, the two planets that I've played on, Navaria what was one of them, and then uh, uh, Faya or Pharos. Uh, Pharos, yeah, Pharos. So I've played both of those. I'm still on um, Navaria. But they're a lot more corridory, yeah. Than yeah. I thought. I thought they'd be more open, kind of like an Outriders. Y- yeah, it's um, but they're not. And, and that, Outriders kind of gives me Mass Effect vibes too. But yeah, there's mm-hmm. the, like as big as the game is, and it's space like space oriented. Like yeah, it's a, there's a lot of like corridor stuff. Does that um, change? 
later on? There are outdoor areas, but kind of like Eden Prime, like that kind of level, like scope that you're thinking mm-hmm. of. It's not like a an open world, like. Yeah, well, I yeah. didn't expect that, but I kind of expected more, more of the first mission of Eden Prime. Yeah, it's 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 kind of like that. Um, there, there's a lot of areas of you going down into like caves. Oh, not well, yeah, caves, caves, and stuff like that. Um, mm-hmm. there's a lot of corridor stuff. I mean, yeah, it's 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 pretty tight. I mean, it was limitations and stuff back in the day, but um, yeah, a lot a lot of corridor stuff. Hmm. So just kind of like I can't. I'm trying to think. I don't think Mass Effect Two is as much. No, like I don't that. think it does, but. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not huge environments that you're that you're getting to work with, but okay, um, it does it does open up a little bit. There's there's some areas where it gets, it's it's large, but yeah, not not quite like Outrider style of like openness, but um, I guess openness yeah. for 2007. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. I mean, I didn't yeah I, I didn't expect it to be an expansive open world. I just thought I would be looking at kind of prettier environments not not saying that it looks bad because it looks great yeah but have you yeah. have you driven the mako yet yeah okay yeah, I've driven okay. the mako that, that those sections were really cool I, i've driven on both Navaria and on pharos and those yeah. are vastly different but yeah, when, once you get the option of the ability or not the ability but once you get to the part where you can start going to random planets Mm-hmm. um and, and mining them and well not guess i guess you're not mining them um i think you do that in mass effect too but when you go on those planets and do like a random mission or something it's, it's really pretty like what like, they like look in that space and stuff um their their sky boxes are, are gorgeous in that yeah. game um even, even for mass effect one so but yeah it's just man i just i love as, as many times as I've seen Star Wars, I could not tell you a single race in that sh- in that sh- in that movie show, whatever the universe. Yeah, I can name them all in Mass Effect, but because they're all interesting and they're all different, and just learning about like l- learning about like the Rachni Wars and the fact that they had to like get the cr- get the Krogans to because they had such vast numbers, they had to get the Krogans to help them with the Rachni Wars, and they exterminated the rachni which were like like an intelligent bug species and this is all backstory within the game but mm-hmm. just they had to get the but then the krogans start because they're like kind of like a frog race almost they started yeah. multiplying like crazy so they had to get the turians to come in and like vastly deplenish their numbers and then shepherd's like well wh- who's going to take care of the turians you know just like when does it stop you know yeah so yeah, it's it's just it's just incredible, and there's not many games where like I, I legitimately read every codex and every file and want to know everything. Um, there there's some stuff there's some stuff that I want to do it within, like Resident Evil. Like I, I've read all all that stuff because it's just interesting and you want to learn what's going on. But not every game I want to do that. Um, but Mass Effect, like it's just there's so much story and it's but it's all so interesting. So they thought just, out. Yeah, they just did such a Bioware just did such a wonderful job. And it's I'm hoping that Bioware gets back to Bioware, you know, because I mean after Andromeda flopping and and, and not being I, I still want to go back and play Andromeda. Um, okay. but <laughs> have you played it? Did you ever Andromeda? play it? Yeah. No, no, I didn't. I just I just want to play it just so I can say I played it. Yeah, I want to I want to check it out at least. Um and I'll probably check it out like after. I'm After sure it's fine. Like, three. I'm sure yeah. it's not even that bad. It's yeah, like, I think people. I think people had just such a negative idea, like a bad like taste in their mouth after three, because people just like hated that ending, uh, which I did not have a problem with it. But but they they went back and like did like a director's cut of it, um, and then fixed a lot of stuff, and it, it did turn out better. But yeah, as a package, I mean, sixty bucks for all these games. Oh, every DLC except for one. One got lost. Like the 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 code. Yeah, the code got lost. Uh, which I don't. I I did play it back in the day. I don't think it was like a great, an important piece of DLC. I should say it was Pinnacle mm-hmm. Station, but I don't think it was like a very important piece of DLC. But there's throughout that trilogy, there is a lot of very 
interesting choices that you can do. And and we had mentioned before that like 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 racism is a huge part of this universe. Like oh yeah, most, I've most, seen pe- that most a lot. people yeah, most people hate humans, but then also other races hate other races. So it's, Ashley Ashley yeah. hates like all of the other races it seems. Yeah, yeah, she's 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 kind of a piece of shit, but yeah, it's kind of the worst. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, and, and she's like the first character you meet to, to join your squad, so that's yeah. that says a lot. But um, yeah, stick stick with Mass Effect One, Nick. I think I think you'll be oh, yeah yeah yeah. I, I think you'll I think you'll by by the end of it, um, I think you'll you'll really appreciate this story, mm-hmm. um, for what it is. Yeah, I'm trying to stay, I'm trying to stay focused and not get kind of lost lost in the story because they they mention a lot of people and they also yeah. mention a lot of just backstory in general i'm like wait who is that again who did yeah. who did that but it's kind have of making you, sense have you gotten to liara yet i don't i don't think you, you probably haven't is she a companion character uh yeah she's like you can recruit her on your on your team she's like the asari asari race the the, the female the sorry they're like the, the they're, no they're the, like the, they're like the the blue blue skin people with like oh the no I crazy like tentacle yet. hair thing going back yeah. okay yeah she's she's an awesome character okay uh, there's so many good characters uh in in the, in the game but i like tally or tally yeah tally tally's cool yeah yeah tally's cool um have you gotten to rex yet the krogan yeah i've got rex got rex got yeah, rex uh, is garris. badass garris is garris yeah. is badass just the first yeah. like con like the first encounter with with uh is it Gre- Grex, right? Rex? Rex. Yeah. Rex. Rex. Yeah, the first encounter with Rex is pretty cool. He was in the like yeah. in the club about to throw hands with that guy. Yeah. Yeah. And then like the way they introduced those characters back into Mass Effect 2 um is freaking awesome. Like getting going through and recruiting all of them. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2 is good too um but yeah well, i guess we'll i mean we'll talk we'll, we'll probably be talking about this game for for a long time over the, the coming weeks how, yeah. as we dig into the story and stuff like that but uh yeah glad glad you're uh somewhat liking it getting getting through the the combat it's it's it could be a little rough but i heard um, it, i heard the the back half of mass effect one is is really 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 good yeah yeah i, I mean we'll like, say the first half is kind of a slog i would see i wouldn't even say it's a slog i just there's okay, just, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, like story development. It, it is slow. Load. It is slow. Like, I, like don't, don't get me wrong. Like you mm-hmm. mentioned before, it, it is very slow build. Um, but I, I think it's. I think it just all of it's just worth it in the end to, yeah. to learn about everything. Yeah, I'm excited to excited to play it. I'm excited to get to two and see all the improvements and yeah, and then finally get to three. And I played that one on Wii U, so. Yeah. Two Probably two is it. definitely the best, I think. Um, just in, in which I feel like a lot of games, like two, like any kind of trilogy, two, two is always kind of the peak. Um, except for maybe Halo Three. I think Halo Three is really good, but yeah, two is kind of usually the peak out of most like trilogies back in the day, at least. Like Dead Space, Dead Space Two is the best. Um, I don't know. I can't remember I, Gears Two Bioshock. and Three. Did you like Bioshock 2 more than one? Or did you like Infinite better? I think Infinite was the weakest. Yeah. Um, I, I liked Infinite. I, I just I thought it was just the weakest out of the out of the three, even mm-hmm. even weaker than two. Uh I think one is my favorite just because it's just so iconic. But two is really good. Two is it's different. Fantastic, actually. It's it is a little bit different combat-wise, but it's it's a more streamlined combat. Mm-hmm um and then and then then infinite is it's just different it's yeah it's good but it's not i I, i'm interested to see i don't think ken levine has put out a game since infinite don't they have another bioshock in development there is but it's not it's not being developed by any of the original it's not there may may be it is yeah it's be it's still yeah it's still owned by um 2k let me see okay. i'm trying to see ken levine's new game did he oh did he do perception it's a horror game you can only see it's, it's like a blind girl and you can only see when you tap your stick on the ground 
I don't know. According to, I don't know. According to the internet, the the late the late stages of production are being done for his game. So hopefully we see that soon because I, Bioshock, yeah, Bioshock was so good mm-hmm. back in the day. Um, any any more thoughts on Mass Effect before we move on to the news? No, I'll probably have a, I'll probably have a lot more thoughts next week once I get a little deeper into it. Yeah, I, I would say try to do as much side stuff as you can, side missions. Um, definitely hit all the pieces of DLC too. Um, if you want, I mean, it, I think I think it's all of it's, it's so good. I think it's just yeah. such a good game. So, um, but let's move nice. on to the news here. Um, Nintendo randomly dropped like a trailer for Skyward Sword, like what last <laughs> Thursday? Yeah, last Wednesday, Wednesday night. Um, that it hit like their their YouTube channel, and it's uh they announced. The Skyward Sword Amiibo, which I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, well, I know you've seen it, but I don't know if the, the listeners have. It's a gorgeous Amiibo. It's got it it's got Zelda fantastic. and her um, Loftwing. Loftwing. Yeah. Um. So it's, <laughs> I guess it's considered a two and one. So it's a twenty five dollar Amiibo, which I think is the most expensive one they've released. Mm-hmm. Um, the Guardian for Skyward or for excuse me for Breath of the Wild was twenty dollars. I mean, oh, that's a that's, wow. yeah, and that's a pretty hefty amiibo. Um, that's pretty solid. Um, but yeah, this is 25, but it does an mm. interesting thing. Nick, do you want to explain what that is in the game? Yeah, so uh for the for the low price of $25 for an amiibo that you probably won't be able to get because of scalpers, you <laughs> can I guess warp up to to the sky. So like to the to the hub world yeah from from down below at any point by scanning the amiibo whereas beforehand you would have to go to specific points on a map to be able to get back up to the sky yeah so it's a it's a quality of life improvement that is blocked behind a a scarcely available amiibo that's 25 dollars. and not only can you fly away at any time but you get to also come back to the spot where you left which is yeah really awesome um, I, I'm sure it's gonna like super increase like speedrunners and stuff like that, mm-hmm. which which is which is cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, how do you like, how do you feel about this? This is this is stupid. It's like, kind of it's kind of grimy, um, and I still want it either freaking way because I I well I'm, I'm I'm invested. I'm all in. I've got every Zelda amiibo to this point, so like I have to get it. I have to. Um, I mean, good luck. I mean, I paid, I think I paid $30 for like two or three of like the Zelda Amiibos. Yeah. So I spent a lot of money on these stupid things and I, and I love them. They're all gorgeous. But yeah, this, this ability is probably the most different like ability for an Amiibo that we've seen thus far. It's a, it's a quality of life improvement. Yeah. And that's never existed in an Amiibo. Yeah. Most, most of them are just like extra extra shit extra, extra stuff of yeah i mean like breath of the wild drops. was just like breath of the wild was cool i mean you got some pretty cool like armor drops mm-hmm. um but yeah i mean nothing has been quite this nice to improve a game to improve a game that's being re-released as a 60 dollar package which a I lot might, of people are my boycott this game upset about but also like i'm in the i'm in like maybe the minority it's like this this game ha- hasn't ever been re-released before so it's I'm like, okay, I'll give you this one time. But yeah, it's it's shitty, man. It, it really is. It what really is shitty. What improvements are they making to this game? Like, like it still looks, I'm gonna be honest, visually, it still doesn't look that great. It still looks like a Wii game. I thought the trailer that they dropped for the Amiibo, it looked a lot better than the original trailer they put out for, for the direct. I thought it looked a lot more crisp. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you got I that. that okay maybe maybe it's because i was watching on my phone versus like the uh computer screen but yeah that, that's the question cool you gotta ask it's like why why wouldn't you just include this in the regular game without a paywall that would be kind of nice people will buy the amiibo regardless of the functionality no one cares about any amiibo's actual functionality in a game yeah. they just want it for collect collector's purposes 
Yeah. Or for it, display it, purposes. Yeah, I'm 100% agreement. You you drop any sort of Zelda amiibo, no matter what it is, and people are going to eat it up because it's, it's mm-hmm. Zelda and people people love collecting amiibos. So yeah, the, the fact that they put this behind the paywall is, is really shitty on Nintendo's part. And man, you, you, you I mean, every, I think everyone's kind of just accepted the fact that Nintendo can do whatever they want mm-hmm. with any game and people are just going to buy it. And maybe maybe I'm part of the problem because I'm I, I still plan on buying it. But when when is enough going to be enough? When when people finally just stop doing this stuff, buying buying these games or supporting this kind of stuff, you know? But I, those, I don't know. It's one of those things where like if if Microsoft had gone backlash for this, they would have immediately fixed it. Oh yeah. But Nintendo is is just so. I don't even know how to describe it, but but they they never admit when they've made a bad decision. Whereas Sony and, yeah. and Microsoft will like wholeheartedly admit it, but Nintendo just does these things and it pisses a lot of people off, and then everyone just goes on their merry way. Yeah, because they they and just they do it again. <laughs> yeah, they know they're they know the hardcore are gonna buy multiple switches and get every skin that they offer, and yeah, they can just kind of do whatever they want which sucks sucks because now all of a sudden this is a $85 $90 $90 investment now Mm -hmm. for for if you want the the amiibo um or more if you if you really want the amiibo and have to buy it off of scalpers yeah definitely yeah so hopefully hopefully they i mean hopefully they have a lot after the fact so people can at least get their hands on them Mm-hmm. Um, re- regardless of if the paywall is shitty or not, it's, it is a nice amiibo, um, as you know, as a, as a collector's item. But yeah, it's still like you could just include that in the regular game and then just offered something else for the amiibo, like new tunic for Link or something. Yeah, if it was like a costume or something, or I don't know, just it's crazy. Yeah, it's such it's such a like a good feature or like you said, quality of life update to have to have behind a paywall is just kind of disgusting. But if the, if Nintendo doesn't think, come out with another trailer with with new features for this game or new quality of life improvements, I don't know if I'm gonna buy it. Even if they just yeah, all 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 they really have to do is make it so I don't have to see a notification or have to read something every time I pick up a rupee. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if that's a quality so of change. I, I wonder if. That, yeah, I wonder. If, I don't know if that's been like. We've seen anything. Yeah, there's hmm. a lot of stuff in that game that needs to be improved. Yeah, I think they'll have. I think they'll show it. Um, because there there was a there's a rumor that's been going around that Breath of the Wild Two is going to be a E three. I think. Um, and then, so the, the rumor is Breath of the Wild Two at E three. They're going to end their direct with the announcement of the official zelda direct mm-hmm. um i think they'll have like maybe one more trailer for skyward sword and hopefully announce like whatever i'm still hoping that there's going to be some sort of like extra kind of content within the game not necessarily something like um bowser's fury but something along that line those lines because I, I just feel like that did so well for nintendo i um, mean it's hard to it's hard to develop something back in from February, at least when, when that got released, but I, I feel like that was such a great improvement to the great, into the game that really added yeah. a lot of value for, for especially for like people that are, are going to be double dipping um, like you and I did more so for you. Cause you actually paid for um, Mario, but yeah, just that extra incentive because I feel like with the, the announcement of this, a lot of people are going to be, you know skeptical skeptical or you know just you know not want to get it now just because of this yeah it's a hard sell especially like looking at mass effect and they kind of like they didn't remake those games but they they remastered the crap out of them yeah and it's all three of them for 60 dollars. yeah i'm just curious how they're gonna do if, if they have the hd versions of the rest of their 3D Zeldas, how they're going to do those. Are they going to be bundled? Are they going to be separate? Because, man, it's it's a hard sell if they're all going to be separate at this point. 
I, mean, I think it, I think at least Wind Waker and Twilight Princess would be bundled yeah. together. But I but, think it's it's rumored. I think Mario or excuse me, um, Ocarina of Time and Majora's are going to be bundled together uh, as just like HD uh, remakes scaling. or whatever. Um, I think Grezzo may be handling that. Oh, so then it'll be an actual. Yeah, then an it'll actual, be an actual like. So I, yeah, I'd imagine that there it probably has a lot to do with like just their work on. The D, the DS and 3DS versions of uh Zelda, mm-hmm. they, those are those look great. Yeah, those are on those. I, I hope they use that. If if anything, I hope they use that as a base. Yeah, and then I, I think they will. There. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's uh let's let's <laughs> stop talking about this because it's Get fired up. It's just disappointing. Yeah. Um, you want to read the next one? Yeah. So, so we know that E3 is happening this year, and it's it's all it's all digital this year. Um. I think it's starting on June 12th and going through June 15th, but Xbox and Bethesda are hosting a joint E3 conference this year. Well, since since uh, Xbox now officially owns Bethesda, they're going to be presenting together, which it's kind of going to be a powerhouse combo. With- yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping. I mean, I think you know we'll, we'll let we'll let Microsoft stuff slide last year for the most part, um, but. I think this is really it. Like, yeah, I think the Series X is such an incredible machine. Like, Game Pass is is amazing. Take a shot. Um, but I think like just the Xbox in general is is at such a good spot. It just needs games, right? I mean, we've only really had the medium up until this point, and that was yeah, that was it was a good game. It was it wasn't a bad game, but it, it just, just wasn't just good. Yeah, it was just good. It wasn't anything like crazy. Um, like a system seller or anything like that, or a Game Pass seller, mm-hmm. uh, well, maybe maybe for a month. I think I think it's worth it to pay for Game Pass to to play that because it is a good game. Um, but yeah, they they need announcements. They need release dates for games this year, um, not just Halo because even that is still kind of. I mean, I know they said it's coming out this year, but who knows, right? Yeah. Um, they they need they need games. We, we need, they need games. We need Halo. We need to see Starfield, even yep. if it's not coming this year. We just need to see it. I think. I think. I think it's coming this year. I think it's coming in twenty twenty two. Yep. I think so. You think? Oh, you think twenty twenty two? Yeah, I think it'll be early twenty twenty two. That's my. It's my guess. I'm, I'm thinking like November, November, really, or like or maybe October for Starfield, and then mm-hmm. November is Halo. Okay. I'm thinking that, and then maybe. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully they'll have some other stuff. Whatever, uh, whatever Tango is working on, maybe yep. Evil Within Three or or something else, and then they have their their new studio. I think Roundhouse Games, but they haven't put out anything yet. And then, of course, Microsoft has Fable. Yep. And uh, Forza Horizon Five is rumored to to be revealed soon ish. And then, and what else do they have? Like um they got a lot of stuff yeah there, there's a lot of stuff that that's in in the works i mean you've got Obsidian's Psycho, game. psychonauts 2 coming from um uh double, double fine, fine. Yeah. Uh, i think they're working on something else too um you've got what, whatever's next from oh my gosh the the outer world's creators um obsidian obsidian you got whatever's well, next they from have, them. um they have avowed Avowed, yeah, you got a vowed yeah. that's coming out or or in development. Wow, they have um, they got a lot of stuff, man. They have a lot they of got... RPGs now with, with Outer Worlds, with, with the potential for an Outer Worlds too. Avowed, Elder Scrolls Six. I can't remember who tweeted it, but someone I can't. It's a it's a Microsoft Studio, but they tweeted something, something very like very cryptic, very cryptic. But it sounds like. It may be a Fallout game, not Fallout Five, because that's going to obviously be handled by Bethesda GameWorks. Um, but maybe like something New on the Vegas style, of like New Vegas. Not, I, I don't know about New Vegas Two, but like maybe some sort of thing like New Vegas, where it takes place in like some random city, but it's not Fallout Five. I think that could be pretty interesting. But Obsidian would be doing it. Maybe not. A, maybe not Obsidian, but maybe somebody else. Okay. Um, so that because I don't know cool. if I don't know if well I guess Obsidian could do it if Microsoft owns both 
Obsidian and Bethesda. Yeah. But that'd be weird. <laughs> you know, yeah, I don't know. They, yeah. They've got a lot of stuff that mm-hmm. has potential to be great, and they just need to get it out there. I mean, because, I mean, right now, I mean, Nintendo is still killing it with their with their hardware sales, um, and they've got some some good stuff to look forward to in the future. Um, mm-hmm. I've had a pretty pretty solid game release since last year. Um, yeah, I've had some. some good and stuff. Sony, I mean, Sony's not doing much right now. They've had Returnal, which has reviewed well, uh, but had some had some issues with kind of like their whole save saving thing. And I don't Man, know how it's doing commercially. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. I, I feel like I would want to check out that game. I think Dad's calling me. <laughs> Why does he always call every Monday? <laughs> That's funny. And then, well, they have they have Ratchet and Clank. Sony has Ratchet and Clank coming out. Yep. In June. And that's kind of all we know for Sony. Is, yeah. Is, is Ratchet and Clank, uh, which looks it looks really good. Yeah. Uh, play that. Yeah, it looks super good, good. But yeah, so I mean, this is this is their chance to really. I mean, I think PS Five has outsold the, the Series X right now for sure. Um. But, which is crazy, as I don't know. Well, it, they they just came out swinging. They came yeah. out with more momentum, like way, way, way more momentum than the Series X did. Like they really set themselves up well last generation and had a bunch of yeah, a bunch of that's hits. true. And I think I think Halo getting delayed also probably pushed sales yeah. away from from Microsoft um, and Xbox, and and then Sony launched with with uh, Spider Man and, um, and Demon Souls. Souls. So they had they had a better launch. Obviously, I mean Xbox had nothing at launch, but um, yeah, I was playing last gen games at launch. Yeah, which I mean, I had a blast. Like Jedi was awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, Assassin's Creed was great. Uh, yeah, good. So good stuff. I mean, they had then they had Halo, Halo, um, Master Chief Collection. They had the the big 4K update for that, which looked yeah. great. So yeah, I think they just gotta they gotta announce some stuff, man, and have stuff come out this year to really. Mm-hmm jump into the market or whatever so we'll see what happens yeah we'll see uh I'm you want to read the next one nick i haven't obviously played this game at all <laughs> yeah monster hunter is getting a 3.0 update event on may 26th so that's wednesday uh this is going to detail just the 3.0 update that's probably coming near the end of the month probably in a, a week but this is like they're getting Monster Hunter is getting a lot of content in a short amount of time. I think there's going to be like a handful of new monsters and they're adding a new ending to the game already. Cool. So there's going to be a lot. Um, whoever's still playing Monster Hunter, I'm probably going to jump in for this update if they add some more, some more stuff for the lower rank people. You know, yeah. I'm not, I'm not Hunter rank 50 yet. I'm just <laughs> Hunter rank 10, I think. So that's good. Yeah, it's always good to have that nice post-launch content that's free yeah. uh, to people so that's that's always good and then eventually they'll probably have some sort of big expansion at some point like uh iceborne yeah they'll either do that yeah. or have their their reiterative game yeah they do like monster hunter rise g and that have yeah. like a bunch of new stuff so we'll see i hope they do the dlc route i don't want to have to buy it again but yeah, I mean, I, I feel like maybe game, maybe companies are pushing away towards that. Like, we, we still haven't seen anything for Pokemon. Like, Pokemon hasn't done it yet, which is surprising. And that, that, yeah. that's kind of like the the well, biggest they the DLC. They did the DLC. This they did they did that route this time. So mm-hmm. I prefer that. I don't obviously yeah, buying a whole game again, especially for Pokemon because you're literally buying the same game again except for like additional content, which usually doesn't even happen until post game. So you have to replay it. So. That's so uh, weird. Yeah. Um, and and then, then Microsoft is now the official publisher of future iterations of Outer Worlds, which makes, makes sense. sense. Cause uh, I think there was like a, maybe not a mistranslation, but a miss, a misunderstanding um, for reporting. I think didn't 2K. Yes. They published it. Publishing yep. rights. Okay. Yep. But now it's, now it's just straight up, straight up Microsoft now since they've, own obsidian for for a while but they they had had that deal with 2k for i guess longer than microsoft had actually owned them so yeah so now they're officially the publishers 
uh, whether or not we'll see an Outer Worlds 2, I don't know. I think the game has sold like 3 million copies in total. This game came to Game Pass. It came day one, right? Uh, yeah, it did. Okay. It didn't It didn't vibe with me. It didn't, it didn't click with me. Um, it didn't click with me either. I don't know why. Um, I just fell off of it really hard after getting through that first area. Yeah, I, like got, I got yeah, I got to the first area and got to the ship and flew out and that was it. I never yeah, went I back. Flew I, out I, of the, the I have no idea. I have no idea what comes after, but I I heard some weird things about the ending. Mm-hmm. Um, especially listening to like the the giant bomb cast. So I don't know. Uh, I've thought about yeah. going back and kind of playing it, but we'll see. So much stuff. There's so much stuff to play right now. Maybe if it gets maybe if it gets a next gen upgrade, I'll go back. I don't know if it has yeah. might have already gotten it. Uh, yeah, I, I wonder. I wonder if it's gotten a next gen upgrade. That's always that's always a good. Because that game kind of ran questionably on the base Xbox One. That, that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to play it anymore because the loading times were pretty atrocious. Yeah, exactly. Uh, apparently, I got it back in March, but I, I haven't seen it under like the tab. For... Yeah. Is it still on Game Pass? I think so. Hmm. Well, I guess it, yeah, I guess it has to be since it's first party. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Maybe I yeah, maybe maybe I'll give it another shot. Yeah, maybe I'll look at it. Probably um, not anytime soon, but yeah, I don't I don't think so either. <laughs> Got a few uh, other big RPGs to play. Yeah, and that that's pretty much it. That's gonna wrap up the uh the news. Still very, very light news coming out. Um just I think everybody's just kind of ramping up for for E3, which I'm super excited about. I mean, we're three weeks away now. Yeah. Something like that. So I am super excited just to see what everything ha- everybody has to offer as far as conferences go and all that stuff. And it, it's exciting for it to be back because we definitely missed it last year. Are we, are we streaming it? Yeah, I think so. I think um, if you want to maybe if, if you're able to bring your Mac, uh, I think yeah. that's probably the best bet and we'll. Yeah, we should we should be able to do it for because we we'll we'll both be on the same computer. Um, we'll same just like, sign in. Yeah, we'll just sign into like uh, I'll probably, well, we'll probably download like OBS the stuff I use here, um, and then make okay. then we can uh, stream directly out of there, directly to Twitch, and then can you just stream from Twitch. Well, no, there's a separate app that you have to use, but you have really? to yeah it's like the, the twitch twitch has not ever had like a separate software for streaming until like about a year ago um they released like their own form of a streaming software which i don't think is as good as like obs mm-hmm. um but we can we can do that and then i'll i'll probably bring my two little microphones with me that way we can just plug them in and have our own mics and then okay um and then go from there but yeah i'm very excited yeah very excited for that. I'm pumped. I can't wait. That, yeah, that's pretty soon. That's that's only so what, June twelfth, thirteenth, something like that. Just about three weeks away. Yeah. So yeah, su- super super yeah. pumped for that. I am so excited. I hope so that, excited I hope everyone that. blows it out this year. I hope Nintendo, I too. And Microsoft. I, I guess we don't know what Sony's doing. Yeah, I don't know if Sony's announced anything yet. We know Nintendo and, and Xbox is definitely a part of E3. To EA's some degree, doing thing. EA's doing their own thing the next month. Um, Ubisoft's got their Ford during that week. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm imagining Sony's got to be somewhere within that week too. So I hope so. So yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun too. I always, I mean, that's just always the most fun part about mm-hmm. news and stuff. It's just the conferences. Like that's always a blast to go through. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I'll just kidding. definitely, definitely look forward to that. Over but Nick, I've got one more question for you before we wrap up the show, and I'll up? I'll give it to the listeners too. If you guys want to tweet at us, um, gaming with the bros, uh, G- gaming wt bros on Twitter, um, with the celebration of Mass Effect three, or excuse me, the Mass Effect trilogy. What is your favorite trilogy in gaming of all time? Ooh. I know there's a lot. And not necessarily like stuff that doesn't necessarily directly correlate with each other. Like you can say Resident Evil 2, 3, 4. Like 
that's a good three games, but like I'm talking about like an, an overarching story that ends with three. That ends. Okay. I'm just well, thinking and, of all the trilogies. And then like, of course, like there's Halo four and five, like that's c- considered its own separate trilogy and gears four and five is its own separate trilogy. Um, but like the, the first three games that kind of wraps up everything. Hmm. That's tough. I'm looking at a list and I just saw Tomb Raider. I'm like, ooh, that's a great, that's a great trilogy of games. The new Tomb Raiders. Yeah. Well, yeah, it is. Um, but three is kind of well, three is not developed by well, it's not developed by Crystal Dynamics. But one and two were. Yeah, I guess you could consider that a trilogy. Well, I mean, it's it's the ending too. Well, it's a it's a prequel, isn't it? Isn't the third yeah. a prequel? No, it's not. Uh, uh-uh. it's a. I think it's a direct continuation. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's a solid trilogy. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Halo. I Halo. Think. Oh, oh. Mm. Dark Souls. Dark Souls is good. Yeah. Yeah. Dark Souls is solid. Feel good about that. Yeah, Dark Souls or or Halo. Yeah, Halo. Halo is like an iconic trilogy. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go Mass Effect. To be honest with you, it's just so <laughs> it's I love it so much. Um, and maybe you'll feel that way once once you've completely finished everything and and wrap mm-hmm. all that all the stories together, in the, in that game in those games. But yeah, I think I think Mass Effect for me is just I just be I just remember being absolutely engrossed in those games when they were released so yeah i think that's probably it for me uh, i wish i had played metroid prime and oh, prime yeah. 2 i only played three and that one was incredible but again i, I it's crazy those games are not on the switch yet i think they're I, I think that remaster is completely done but they're waiting until four is ready so they put that out like a year or six months before yeah that's my that's my theory Maybe maybe it'll be at E3. Maybe it'll be at E3 and get announced. I mean, retro like, well, retro is working on four. Yeah, but they also were working on something until they got handed Metroid Prime Four. But we don't know what that is, right? So there's this long gap because they didn't get handed Metroid Prime Four until after those their internal studios kind of shit the bed on on yeah. four. So. We don't know. Yeah, we'll it's see. A trilogy. Yeah, but let us know what you guys, what, what y'all's favorite trilogies are. Mm-hmm. Um, let it let us know. Tweet at us and let us know because I'm I'm super curious. Like Dead Space is another yeah. really great trilogy. So I know there's a lot of stuff that like a lot of people love Ratchet and Uncharted and, and stuff. So there's tons of tons of great Batman. Great, yeah, Batman. Um, tons of great trilogies out there. I completely forgot about Batman. God. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, yeah, Assassin's Creed. Super Mario Bros. That was like a trilogy, I guess. Yeah, it's The Witcher. Yeah, The Witcher. Yeah, Witcher's good. But yeah, let us know what your guys' favorite trilogies of all time are. Um, yeah, super curious to, to know that. But Nick, um, I think we're done. I think we're going to uh to wrap it up here. I think we're, we're done. I think we're done. It's been it's been a good show. Yeah, it's been a good show. But yeah, if you uh, if you guys like our podcast, uh, consider um, giving us a review over on uh, I think Apple Podcasts is the only one that you can do it for. But yeah, please give us a review, and uh, that, re- that really helps out a lot. And if you have any gaming friends, um, or or you just want to share the podcast on on your Facebook or Twitter or whatever, uh, give us a shout out. We would we would definitely love that. It definitely helps us out. Um, yeah, super grateful for that. Nick, any last words you want to say before we uh, head out here? Everyone just have a wonderful week. You know, yeah. have a great end of May. God, it's crazy. Already out of May. On to June, baby. On to E3. E3, E3 season. Yeah. So like, like we mentioned, um, we'll probably do some sort of like mid-year game of the year kind of thing. Um, and then we'll, we'll do a prediction uh, oh, yeah. segment yeah. For, for E3 as well. Probably yeah. the week before. Definitely. Yeah, we got, we got to like, I got to look and see what all companies are going to be there during that week yeah. and then, and then make the guesses on there. But uh, yeah, that, that'll be fun. Yeah. Lot, lots of fun stuff to look forward to in the next coming weeks for the show and just gaming in general. So we should make like a, like a bingo card. 
you know, from Ooh, all the possible announcements. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. That could be cool. We'll do that. That could be cool for sure. All right. Yeah. That's going to wrap up the show, guys. We will see y'all um, probably next Monday, Nick, with, well, Memorial Day is on Monday. So what do you, what do you want to do? Hmm. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll figure it out. But yeah. Probably we'll have, Monday. we'll have the show at some point next week. Yeah. But, uh, I should, or maybe we can even do like an afternoon stream or something. I'd be good with that. Yeah. Like a 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock stream or something like that. Yeah. Fun. Different. Yeah. Cool. Different. All right, guys. We'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.